uh, I hope you guys are happy to see me live. Uh, remember, these sessions will be uh, about IELTS, not for English. If you want to be, if you want to understand English, I would suggest you to go with the um, Ash live sessions. That will be in the evening, nine thirty. And uh, please write in the chat if you guys can hear me clearly. Can you can you please write in the chat? What do you guys? Uh, what's how is it going on with you guys? How is the live going on? All clear. Thank you, Strange Ten. I'm happy to hear that all everything is clear. Now uh, today's session will be yes, we can hear. Thank you, uh, Ashraf. Uh, today's session will be for IELTS speaking part two. Oh, sorry, IELTS writing part two. In here, we'll understand how to write essays. In fact, we have an innovative way to understand how to write actually better by looking at someone else's answers. So we'll see how we can make this answer a better answer. Right. First thing, my exam is on November fourth. Strange ten. I wish you all the best for your exam. First of all, and if you need preparation, you can come live here. We'll definitely discuss a lot of new things. I will definitely suggest you to be live uh, here. Now, um, I hope you guys can uh, look at the display and and uh, you know see the display that we have the question. So, like I said, first of all, we'll understand what the question is, and later we'll understand how to write an answer for this, right? So today we are discussing um, IELTS writing part two. So this is writing part two, which is always going to be an essay. Essay writing will be in the target here. Inside an essay, you have multiple things, as you can see. This green, of course, in the exam you won't see green color. I'm showing you to differentiate between. A question and instructions. These is these are instructions as you can see here, that you will have forty minutes. You know, and here is the main question. Inside the question as well, we have a statement and a question. Well, we have to understand that later. And below you have minimum one two fifty words count. That means if you write two forty nine even, you'll get a penalty. Two fifty one words, good thing. So this is a problem. This is fine. This is your first class um, writing English. Definitely, this will help your understanding writing English. Uh, Jethi, um, I'm depressed by reading, reading, reading. <laughs> Why did I understand reading is crazy? In coming sessions, we'll understand reading as well. How we can make it not depressing at all? How we can have fun with that part? Now, in writing, let's understand how to write essays. And when we write essays. We are not writing for someone else. We are writing for, of course, the exam checkers. And how are they going to check our exam? That's more important for us rather than anything else, right? So first of all, I would suggest all of you guys, whoever so is enjoying this session about IELTS, please uh, hit the like button so that we can enjoy the session. Uh, that would be great help from uh, you guys. I will enjoy the session more, and of course, you will enjoy it too, right? Okay, so now con let's continue with understanding the question. Whenever you get any essay question, you will get a statement. This is called a statement, and this is called the question. Using this, you will understand the question type, but this will make you understand what the statement is. But doesn't matter what you understand. Strange Ten says everyone like the stream. Thank you so much, Strange Ten. Asta, hello sir. My exam on fifth of October. Please wish me luck. Uh, Asta, I wish you all the best. I hope you get the best score and best uh, bands in first go itself. Brijesh, Gaur, hello, how are you doing? So whenever they are checking your answer in IELTS, they will definitely test four things. You know, let's talk about them technically and then basic. So technically, we call them L R C C G R A and uh, T R. I'm talking about speak, uh, IELTS writing part two. LR is lexical resource. You can understand from vocabulary perspective. First of all, CC is coherence and cohesion. Coherence and cohesion is the connectivity. So you can call it logic of your essay. Then we have GRA. You can call it the grammar part of the essay. And TR is task response. Basically, how strong are your points? Basically, are you able to make them understand what the question is about? So these are the four parts. Your points, your arguments—they are checked in TR, task response. See if you understand. Please make me perfect in essay. I will abhishek. Do not worry about that. This is my first message day. Hi, Delini. How are you doing? I'm happy to see you here. 
See, if you understand these sessions, if you understand, you stay in the class, definitely you'll become better in IELTS writing. I promise you that you will see eventually. So what we're going to do is we will count, we'll check the answers which are graded by already British Council or which are already graded by Cambridge. So in order to give you a reference, Cambridge is an institute or uh, a place where IELTS is organized, IELTS exam is created. Right. So they have given some grades to the following answers. So this question is, let's read it. At the present time, the population of some countries includes a relatively large number of young adults compared with the number of older people. Again, let's read the question at the present time in the sense in the current time. The population of some countries included includes a relatively large number of young adults. That means in, a, in, in some countries, there are more young people compared to the older people. Now, how to understand a question that will be a task for SEP, you know, other other session. Not now, not yet. Right. So they are saying basically, let's say we have countries where young people are more like in India. We have in, in other countries such as um, I believe Pakistan as well, China as well. Young people are more than older people. Do the advantages of this situation outweigh the disadvantages? Basically, what they're saying is, are the advantages more of this situation that young adults are more than old people? They're asking us, are there more advantages of young people more in a country or disadvantages? Basically, they're asking us this question. Let's understand an answer which, you know, received five bands in exam. So we'll see an answer of five bands, then six bands, then 7.5 bands. So that what happens? Basically, you will get a reference. Or oh, if we write like this and we check using these references, what will be our score? Right? Uh, Delini, I'm doing great too. I'm sorry, I didn't see your message. Okay, so let's see an answer of five bands. We'll start with the first paragraph. This is called an introduction paragraph. Remember, this is intro. And let's see how, what kind of intro have they written? Nowadays, the people of some countries that have young people more than old people. I think there is a problem in the first sentence itself. The problem is, this is not a full sentence. Let's start from here to here. Nowadays, the people of some countries that have the young people more than old people, this sentence is not complete. What could have been gone is, one second guys, what could have been done is that we enhance this sentence by saying, the people, there are more people in certain countries who are, which are young ca compared to older people, but they did not complete the sentence here. Not a good start. Some people think when their countries, this is a spelling mistake, you can see here, have the young people more than the old people will be good because that could increase the population in the future. This is not even a good sentence. First of all, not even a good point. Why are we including this in introduction? Not clear. So we'll remove it. We'll create something good later. Right. This is not a good start. You can see spelling mistakes. First of all, another people thinks it. See, first of all, people thinks will not make sense. Another people, this is only for singular. We use another chance. Give me another chance. So when we say another chance, this is for singular, as you can see here. Give me another chance. This chance is not plural, this is singular, but they have used for people. And along with people, they have mentioned things, which is used for singular again. For example, he or she thinks. But if it comes to they, we don't use S there. We say they think. Grammatically, there is a problem there. It is not good due to some countries limit the population. If that have more young people, it will over limit. Now, the person is trying to express there will be more people. Definitely, it is making sense, you know, logically. But the problem is that they are not able to justify their grammar. So all, all you can see is G, R, A will be hindered, which is grammatical range and accuracy. This is, it is not a good start, I would say that. Grammatically weak. This essay will discuss the advantages and disadvantages about in some countries uh, have the young people more than the old people. Very weak sentence, I must say that. The reason that for that is never use any word called essay in your sent in your essay at all. Say that advantages and disadvantages will be discussed below. So the word below is allowed rather than using the word essay directly. That would not make sense. It's not a good start, I must say that because they have used such language. 
what I would have said in this case, I would have said the advantages are more uh, or more important compared to disadvantages when it comes to young people in any country compared to old people. Now that would be a better way to write it. Otherwise, this is a weak sentence at the same time. They're using the word essay, right? Okay, so we can move forward. I guess this is not a good start. We can all see it. Um, one of advantages, see again, they're missing articles. One of the advantages is increasing the population. Mm, not sure what they are trying to say. Let's continue. This is not an advantage. You know, this is not an advantage increase in population, but they have to give reference. In some countries, support the family to have more people because that can increase the population in the future. Now, I want all of you guys, all of you, you, you are all are listening to me, right? You are all attentive. Can you all write yes in the chat? I want all of you to write yes in the chat. If you are attentive, <laughs> if you're understanding. Okay, we have uh, Jigyasa, we have Jayati Creation, Amit, Asta, Tamanna, Abhishek, Tio Gamer. Okay, all of you guys are listening. We have Dilini, Strange 10. Thank you guys for listening. Others, I feel they don't want to say yes. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, we have Elite, uh, Red, Z, Red Z. That's good. So many people listening carefully. Hyper Gaming, wonderful. We have again a read. Okay. What is the problem with this and this sentence, which I have underlined here, you know, what is the problem with this sentence? Can you guys tell me in some countries support the family to have more children because that can increase the population in the future. Naresh, thank you for listening. What is the problem here? This is my type of writing. <laughs> I wish if you are able to write like this in the chat, this is not your type of writing. This is much lower than that. It's not good. So you see that exactly. I think uh, Asraf is right. There is a grammar perspective, which is incorrect. In some countries support. In some countries, people support or the young people support. They have the subject missing. Who is doing this action? So they are talking about the location, but they're not telling us who's going to support what. Not making sense correctly. Tamanna mentioned that. Right. You're co yes, you're correct. Right. <laughs> See, Taran, that's good. No idea, said Dilini. We could include government supports. Yes, we can say that government supports. But the question Gyasa, here is not about government. It's about the young people. So if I say that, that in some countries, um, young people support their family to have, oh, you, okay, government can support their family to have more children because that can increase the population. Anyway, the sentence is not making sense. At the same time, subject is missing. So, so we, can, we can remove it. For example, in Singapore and so on. This could be a part of the previous sentence. It's such a tiny sentence they have added. Comma, they could have said, for example, Singapore. This is not making sense much. Where is the question? Good question. So here is the question, guys. Uh, I'll do one thing. I'll just uh, paste it in uh, your chat. If you want, I can paste the question in your chat and keep it uh, pinned in the chat. Right? One second. Give me a, give me a second. So all of you can see the question. One second. This is advantage, disadvantage kind of question. Okay, this is the question. I'm pinning it in on the top so that all of you can keep looking at the message, right? Okay, good. Right, let's continue with the with the understanding of the question. So they are not writing this well. I think we can move to the next forwardness, but this is not a this is not a good uh, opening of the body paragraph because it is not making sense at all. First sentence is really important. They didn't do a great job. I'm not audible. Guys, can you hear me? Uh, because uh, Rinas cannot hear me. Oh, audible. I think Rinas has some issue. You can hear. Thank you. Thank you so much for the confirmation, guys. It is... It's trick is very important. Yes, see that I'm a trick is important. So we'll skip this paragraph. It's not that weak. One of the, again, they're missing the, one of the advantage is increasing the population of the young people. Young generation is still a lot. The school will not enough for study. The government should construct more school. Again, this is, this is really weak essay. So we can skip it all together. I feel it's, it's a, a 
another disadvantage they have mentioned another disadvantage they have not even mentioned one advantage disadvantage above but they're writing here another disadvantage so this is a really weak essay this kind of essay do get five bands you can see that from the the language and everything right but let's look at another at, at another question and we'll see six bands answer now this is a question okay let's understand a new question and enjoy our uh, new answer some people believe that it is a good it is good to share as much information as possible in scientific research business and academic world others believe that it that in me information is believe that in me information is too important or too valuable to be shared freely i think this in me is something wrong but okay so basically what they're saying is some people say that you know we should share or even scientific research business and academic world should share as much as possible and other people say that no there is something called my privacy and these privacies are important and they're too important and too valuable to be shared for example they are doing some research in rocket science and they declare it to everyone that that shouldn't be shared i would say that that's what they're testing that's what they're talking about and they're asking you to discuss both views now this is another kind of question so basically we have five types of question ielts and those types of questions are let's see agree and disagree kind of question second is advantages and disadvantage kind of question third is called discuss both views which we're going to have a look here fourth one is called um, problem and solution and finally we have something called two part question okay so i am not going to discuss in detail but discuss both views here you are supposed to discuss both the views about one perspective one view is here and another view is here and then we give opinion at the end do you provide one week coaching sir tamana will discuss about coaching um later in creating ideas and writing essays abhishek eventually slowly and eventually we'll understand everything in detail trust me all right so today we are just looking at some essays which are not making sense which are making sense as well you will see look at this one sharing information is actual issue in our world where it has strong influence on people this is a good start compared to the previous one and the reason for that is um you can see everything is correct except n would make sense is an actual issue in our world where it has strong influence on people now because the question the statement is about the question so i would uh, go with a blue tick like oh really good start there are various uh, spheres of our life where information is more or less important for people working there on uh, on out of this yes that's good but you know they could have made it a little bit easier such as uh, there are various parts of spheres of life or let's say where information is important not more or less important important i would say directly um for people working in or for pro professional people that would be better i would say that rather than directly this but yes it is important sentence and make making sense for this reason some people consider that it is good to share information while others believe think in opposite way so this is also good because they are talking about discuss both views now i could have done one thing i could press and enter here and write something nice sentence for example um both these views will be discussed uh below discuss in detail below now what 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 is it saying here well i don't know why it's okay in the, what is it saying here is showing you what you will get in the coming paragraph this sentence would have been good if there was extra right because we have to talk about uh in listening they provide personal headphones or in loudspeaker um hyper gaming i think you are not audible I think I am I'm not sure <laughs> others say that I'm audible Siddharth CS2 I I'm 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 away from CS2 now <laughs> How to get nice bands on vocabulary I'm saying like, vocabulary eventually we'll see so I'm audible thank you See um listening they provide headphones sometimes sometimes they play in speaker that that depends if you go for CBT that is computer based test they will always provide you headphones If you go for pen and paper they'll provide sometime headphones sometimes speakers so that's the answer for that yeah okay but there is a problem with this answer there was a nice introduction i must say that this person could have received seven bands but their first essay or first body paragraph is for example 
Does that make sense? You cannot have an example as your first body paragraph. Doesn't make any sense. So I'll, I'll call it incorrect. So we'll remove this part. For example, practical, whatever it is, we'll remove it. And secondly, they made a mistake in comment spelling. Please check your spellings later. You will see that, right. Do we write? Yes, in task two, we have to write conclusion. There are some simple rules in academic world which limit spelling mistake informational source between people. If person is interested in theme discussion with you and you are ready, see, try not to use this you language multiple times in a single sentence and limit is everyone knows the spelling of limit because you are in a hurry. You tend to make mistakes better to read your answer properly, right? See, you are you are looking at the problems right now. So you have seen the previous essay, which was really very weak. This one is a little bit better, but still we have some problems here. This essay got six bands. Let's look at the beginning and, and they wrote only one paragraph, proper paragraph, right? Everything was discussed in one paragraph In discuss both views. You have view one and view two, as you can see in the question. Let's see that some people believe sharing information from these world is important. Others say that no, it's not important. So we have two views here. And this person discussed both the views in a single paragraph. You can see here everything in one paragraph because below we have conclusion. Not a good idea. View one and view two should be discussed in separate paragraphs. This is what I feel. How to control mind. <laughs> we'll see later about controlling mind because that is that is not direct question. How to start body one. Asta, Asta uh, body one is your introduction. I mean, you, this body one, see, we cannot start with an example. We start with a statement, which is your concept that you want to explain. For example, I, what I would do is because this is, these are two views. So view one and view two, view one, view one says that you should share as much as information as possible. And here I will start. Some people believe I can start view one, such as some people believe that, um, sharing information about this world of, you know, academic world or whatever world is important. And then I'll write about that. Second paragraph, I'll start with other one that is not sharing is a good idea. And then I'll go with conclusion. There's a necessary spelling mistake here. So we'll also keep it in count. Let's see to sum up all, or you can say all in all as well, all in all and a comma must be there. So you, you should put a comma here. Okay, to sum up all above, it is necessary to stay that there, to stay that, to say that. See again, a problem. You should say, say that, right? There are some spheres in, in which sharing information is a crime. In my opinion, in many cases, information can be too important or sharing at all. Right. And as to how many conclusion we can write. See, only one conclusion, only one conclusion, not no many, not many conclusion, right? Okay. Uh, can we use slangs in writing and speaking? No, 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 no. You cannot slang use slangs because slangs are colloquial English at the same time, non informal colloquial English. I wouldn't suggest you to do that. I wouldn't suggest you to do that. I can understand English, but I can't speak English. I'm not able to speak English. Please help me for English. Uh, Sitaram, there is a class at 915. I would suggest you to go for that. Right. Okay. I will, I will. Uh, Jayati, I will talk about not email writing. We have letter writing in IELTS, not email writing. Okay. Okay. The last one, this is, this is called 7.5 bands answer. Now focus here guys, focus 7.5 band is a good, good score. I must say that it's not a bad score at all. So what kind of answer can get? First of all, the question in a number of countries, some people think it is necessary to spend large sums of money on con constructing new railway lines for a very fast train between cities. Others believe that money should be spent on improving existing public transport. So two things. First, first group says that, that there are railway lines, which should be new in construction, and there should be very fast trains between cities. Others say that whatever we have, let's make them better first. What are your views on this? And this person must have done a great job. That's why they got 7.5. For many people around the world, the, uh, the preferred method of transportation is high speed rail. Look, they did take care of what is being taught here. Commuters travel to and from work rely on uh, the safety and efficiency. While there's a tiny error, while, trans while tourists appreciate the convenience and the novelty that trains provide. Others believe that highway buses and reg uh, regular trains should be improved 
before new high speed rails are added amazing in um, opening i must say that because they have talked about both the views as you can see guys isn't this the best so far what we have seen so so far we have seen three answers right and 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 in those three answers i think th this one is the best answer so far amazing answer and um, I, I would suggest you to read this one carefully. You will see less errors. Sentence will make more sense. It will be about the question itself. Let's move on to the uh, to the later part, right? Uh, to this uh, question here. Safety is chief among concern for those who travel to or work uh, school, work school, or work or school on a regular basis. If one drives a car they have a concentrate on the they have to concentrate on the road not only to avoid accident but also prevent other drivers from causing a problem on the road right so they are they are using the word safety and i like this answer for a reason see all of you should do this in exam right hard skill thank you for this nice comment i'm a beginner can you uh, guide to start rep my preparation aisles definitely rupees i'll talk about beginner stuff la later i'll do that Asa said, stop spamming. <laughs> yes, you should. Guys, I didn't see many likes in the stream. I would suggest you, if you can like the stream, I'll enjoy more. <laughs> we have around 60, 70 people watching and still only 37 likes. It'll be fun, right? Okay, anyway, um, so let's continue. Look at the sentences. High speed rail allows the commuter to leave the driving to the professional controlling the train, allowing them to get some work done while getting uh, to work safely amazingly done see they have done use the word safety here they've used the word driver causing problem that means again safety and they've used the word safely so there is a, a something called coherence and cohesion is preserved the coherence part that means connectivity and logical sense this paragraph was supposed to be about safety and it is about safety amazingly written paragraph that's why 7.5 Let's look at another one. In addition, this shows that this person knows how to connect the previous paragraph with this one. So guys, I'll do one thing. Um, I'll provide you a, uh, something called um, something called a, a um, sheet, PDF sheet, where you will get all the transition words you require. Basically, um, these in, moreover, however, you know, all these in contrast um, in order to add additionally so that you can print it remember by yourself according to the theme whenever we change the topic we add new words so let's let's do a tiny exercise here itself right i'm gonna ask you which word would make sense in between let's do a tiny exercise right uh, for now i think we can jump to here we'll, we'll read the essay later so if i write a sentence here i write here um he wasn't working well now, he got promotion. Now, which word would fit in here, in between these? Ravi, you're new here. Um, I welcome you. Definitely strange, Ren. In the end, we'll discuss about the plan. Yet. Okay, Asta is saying yes. So sometimes I'm not able to understand the paragraph. Please help me in this. We'll, we'll. However, good one. So we can add here a new word to make sense, the complete sentence. Let me just write here a new uh, copy paste. It's, he wasn't working well, still he got promotion. We can say that, right? Either this way we can say that. Some people are saying yet, that would make sense as well. Yet he got promotion, right? That's why he got, <laughs> that's why uh, Asraf would make sense if we are talking positive things. This is a negative thing, you know, he wasn't working well. Or we can say, um, however, he wasn't working well, he got promotion. In that case, we have to add however. Or though, you can say though, he wasn't working well, and you have to put a comma there and remove this yet, this sentence would make sense. You can use though. Right. But as well makes sense. Yes. Simple but B-U-T but. Even though would make sense. Even he, uh, even though he wasn't working. That's fine. Right. That's good. So this is the same thing this person. Okay. It's too, too much zoom. Right? <laughs> okay. Though this person. I mean this person knows how to use such words. In addition. In addition. People tend to move further and further away from city centers. Where um, land and houses are more affordable. High speed rails allows them to commute. That's good. So basically there's a spelling mistake by this person, I think. 
double M. Okay, doesn't matter. But what this person is trying to write here is that we these days are going for cities and we need to tra travel from cities to you know our, our offices and that's why these high speed rails are important basically what they're saying is yes safety is a concern let me add more information here i will and they did on the other hand that means the other view so we have two views to discuss remember that we have discussed one is very fast railways are important and existing public transport is not bad it's important that means you have to spend more on that that was the view let's see what this person has written about that on the other hand high speed trains are expensive and some believe that this money could be spent on motorways which are used by cars buses and motorcycles true they have used the word expensive Another possibility could be, would be to use this money to build more regular commuter trains and buses to service ever expanding urban uh, populations. Have you guys been uh, in metro, either in Delhi, Mumbai, or any uh, Hyderabad, any city? Have you guys been in metro? Best teacher, thank you, Harsh. <laughs> okay, you you might have been right. So yes, you did. Okay, so those. Things, Delhi Metro, Asta, thank you. So those things are not that expensive, right? So this person is saying that when you have been in such things, why not government impose uh, or let's say uh, spend more money on such things so that uh, guess what happens? People more can commute easily. Instead of having fast trains and charge more, why not this one? Moreover, boats and ferries could benefit for a budget uh, which focuses more on existing forms of transportation this is good boats and ferries in the sense to travel from one place to another in in sea right they are the budget ways if you have sea in your country of course if you have water in your country mainly and they have mentioned in the end that is the conclusion you know trigger to, to, to trigger the conclusion part hit the like button yes so then hit the like button <laughs> right and here they have mentioned public transport is an issue which affects us all so true, such a nice starting. The taxes which will be paid should be spent on the type of transport which will have the most benefit to all cities. citizens. In addition, we need to take into account how much environment is damaged by fossil fuels and population. A tiny error here. Once there's a full stop, you should write capital. That's a tiny error, but that's okay. Therefore, I believe in order to move forward, we need to embrace the idea of high-speed rail so the future generation can contribute. By. Okay, that's good, that's good. So this person made a tiny mo one more mistake that um, because this is discussed both views, we'll see later what is the meaning of this. They could have added this part in the beginning because we have to give our opinion and discuss as, as is first, not later. Right, okay. So this was 7.5 band worthy. If you guys want, I can upload it in your drive. I'll give you a link later. Seems very, exactly, Jati, you can see that. Difference between that and this is like really earth and sky kind of error, right? It's like. It's really like apples and bananas, right? Completely different. That's why it's got 7.5. If the, the person could have changed few things such as writing more on the other side, this person didn't write on more other side, could have received eight, let's say. I would say that. And changing a little bit in conclusion, eight bands easily. Overview Asta is used in the case of part one. So when we write uh, writing part one, that is report writing, we use the word overview. How self-talk is important for uh, speaking English. See, there are, for speaking English, I would suggest you to go at 9.15. We have an English class. This is IELTS class. Now, um, guys, can you tell me in your chat, which kind of IELTS are you planning for? Academic or general training? If you do not know, I'll, I'll tell you guys. Academic or general training? Academic is for people who are going for study. And general training is for people who are going for work or immigration or PR. Academic for Asta? Wonderful. I'm looking here because my chat display is here and this is my normal display. Um, mostly academic, academic, academic. Tio Gamer Academic, Abhishek, Hyper, Delini. Um, Laka, okay. Academic, Harsh. Mursal Academic, uh, Ravi, General Training. Okay, the first person, Ravi, for General Training. Pranav, uh, how to prepare for IELTS in one week academic? Pranav, that's a big question, how to prepare. You have to find the best source that has recorded source. Nobody can teach you in one go, uh, you know, weekly, everything. Better you go with the, a recorded course or something. That's better, right? We'll discuss it uh, in our chat or in our in our description later. We have um, Mikem Faith, general training, academic, academic. Okay, fine. 
Now, when you're going for either academic or general training, only the differences will be in reading and writing a little bit only in part one. So these things will have little bit changes in writing part one only, not in part two. Okay. So when we are, we are in this live class, we will discuss mostly what is common stuff. Separation, I'll tell you later in, in thumbnail itself, what is the difference? Now, some people were asking how to prepare for IELTS within one week, one month, one uh, 15 days, a fortnight. How to prepare? Let's say in order to understand how to prepare, we have to understand two things. I'm not applying, but I want to improve my writing skills. Okay, Jayati. See, uh, first of all, whenever you are preparing for IELTS, you need or anything, let's say anything, you need to do one thing for, for sure. You need to get a best source of knowledge, first of all, and then practice. See, in order to understand anything, you need to understand what is the best source that according to you, because you have to enjoy their source and you have to like their source and later practice. And both things are possible. And there's one more thing missing, and that is called the consistency. Now, right now, I will, I'm seeing, oh, everyone is uh, having energy. Everyone is ready to answer and everything is going fine. But every day you get the right source. I'll be teaching you guys. We'll practice from some material. But later, after some time, you'll say, oh, it's okay. I'll do it later. Right? <laughs> this is a problem. So if you found somewhere a source which is really concrete and if you like that source, good. Second, find some material to practice or the source provides you material like we do provide material. That is a different thing, right? Then and only then you can get your best score. So do your research on what is a good source and what is not. Now, if your exam is in within eight days or seven days or something like that, I would suggest you to not focus on any question type, focus on mock test. Because the exam is in seven days, you must have received a book from either British Council or IDP. British Council, uh, we do not have any more in India working, but IDP must have sent you a book which has around three to four mock tests. Go for the mock test if you have less time, because when you do the mock test, you are doing multiple things at you know in one go. And the thing is that you are testing if you can sit at one place and do the complete test first of all, especially listening, writing, and uh, reading, because this is uh, important in one go. In real exam as well, this will be in one go. Speaking will be separate. If you don't have source, we can be a source. So I'll give you. I provide you a link later. Secondly, once you do a mock test, get it checked from somewhere. Because let's say I write something, right? I, I made some mistake in my writing. If nobody's checking for me, I'll make the same mistakes again. So basically what am I doing? I'm not following the four step path of learning, right? Do you guys want to understand what is that four step path of learning? It's not about IELTS. It can be, but it's about everything. You want to learn anything. You will have to understand what is four step part of learning. This is, this is going to be interesting. Listen to this carefully. All of you be ready. So whenever you have something raw, you're learning for the first time, you have four steps in there. Okay. Would be helpful. Okay. Asta. Initially, I am in the category of, I do not know what I do not know. Let's say somebody tells you, do you know how difficult it is to make um, rockets? rockets? And we say that, no, I, I don't know. They ask you, do you know this kind of gas is used or not? You say, I don't even any idea about what I don't have idea. So this is your first stage. You're complete ignorant about the topic. Then, Prajna Chaudhary, yes, true. Then you come to know what you do not know. For example, when I was learning how to swim, I was making mistake with my, with my feet. I was not using my leg actually properly. You know, so, so I could not swim properly. I came to know that I, I made, I was making a mistake. After that, I jumped to the next one. I started practicing what I know. Oh, this is my problem. I'll practice that. And later we become an expert. So these steps we tend to skip. We want to jump from here to here in day one. And what happens when you jump from one step to the last step in one go? <laughs> you guys know very well what's going to happen when you try to jump four stairs or skip four steps in one go, you fall. In here, you fall psychologically, not, not physically. And you call that topic, wherever you're falling, difficult. So you say, oh, this is very difficult. You fall down, exactly. And you call it difficult, it is not possible. Hamza, you're right. You're right. So nothing is difficult, nothing is impossible because you are trying to look at a person who's expert. You're trying to copy that person. You're not going step by step. 
when you go step by step in the end you will become an expert right so do not try to copy anyone imitate anyone just do take care of all the steps initially you are in complete darkness now if you want to get some enlightenment or some understanding of ielts we have a 10 hours video of ielts right after that you will come to know what you are weak in right moreover we have a 30 hours course as well available for ielts that will will do with you directly live you know i'll, I'll send you the website later tomorrow day after tomorrow we are not launching a new batch with everything new revised and after that you practice with us with your with yourself and everything and eventually you'll become an expert for sure but what you want is give me a shortcut to do this give me a shortcut to do that it's not possible at any cost shortcuts are not possible so i would suggest all of you to go step by step try again until you succeed okay so i'm going to give you some guys basic understanding of ielts as well today so that tomorrow we can continue from here let's let's uh, wrap it up and understand um first of all ielts is an exam that you have to write in order to show your proficiency for you know to when you go abroad for any country where your course is in english so this is international english language testing system here they check your proficiency using four modules listening reading writing and speaking four modules out of which three are tested in one go speaking is in a different time let's say either two to five hours away from them or one to five days away from these right and when doing so you have to not just show your english skills and also time management skills or listening skills at the same time how you write well or not all these skills will be tested each of these modules they will require various other skills to be tested so in the coming live sessions i'll teach tell you which module require what skills omg <laughs> what would happen i have my speaking on video call any tips um asta for video calls i must say that that's the best thing because you are you're not going to be intimidated by that person so much you will be easily uh, accommodated in your own environment that's the best thing for a second try to look into the the camera whatever you have a uh, webcam and try to feel as if this is the person i'm talking to try to smile and practice it a lot initially because i know I, i'm a youtuber i'm a trainer so for me it's easy to do this for you it might not be that easy right for you it might be like oh my god what's happening right so right now i'm looking in on in the screen i'm talking to you guys i have no issues right everything is going fine but later when when somebody tries who has no experience in in this field or let's say teaching or a, a webcam uh, talking they will find it a little bit difficult that's what i would suggest to you know change okay now let's get back to that um uh, okay nexus uh, <laughs> so nexus says that my ex left me and i'm uh, it fail and i want to do ielts ielts is not for girlfriend or you know <laughs> or anything you do ielts to go abroad <laughs> so if you're going abroad then go for ielts otherwise go for english if you want to enhance your language that's funny but and said at the same time i'm sorry to say that right um, so this is what we have in ielts now when they are checking your paper they will take at least 13 days if you're going for pen and paper and um, if they will take three to five days when you're going for cbt right uh, i know the fees is really high now in india in india it's around sixteen thousand five hundred something rupees for uh, one go and even if you make tiny 0.5 less bands bands in the sense the the scoring pattern one is the lowest and nine is the highest zero we don't have any band ten we don't have band mm, right But Nexus, this is IELTS class. I'm sorry, I'm not a psychology teacher, so that I won't be able to help you. I'm from UAE. Gajendra, welcome from, I welcome you from India. 16,200, okay, to be very precise. And in other countries as well, it's a little bit expensive, right? Uh, so you guys are mentioning. Uh, become a dad soon. Thank you so much, Naveen. Thank you so much <laughs> for this nice uh, congratulation. Yes. We'll talk about that too. Um, so one is the lowest, nine is the highest, and with 0.5, Bangladesh is 2250. See, expensive. There is a 0.5 increment, so 1.5 to 2.5, like this score. 
Now, other every situation, the, they have a different band score requirement. For example, in some countries, they do not require below 6.5 overall and not less than 6 in each. So that you have to understand from your own requirement. Pakistan 58700, very expensive, I must say. Sri Lanka 6500. Damn, very expensive. 13600 in Turkey. See, everyone has, every country has different currency, so that might fit according to their currency. Right. Now, how to get this score? How to get seven? How to get nine? How to get eight? It's a big question. I think you should be asking, how can I get the question type which I'm struggling with clear in listening? And which question type I'm struggling with? So for that, we'll see eventually how many question types do we have in each listening, reading, writing, and speaking. With every passing day, you will have it. <laughs> Aditya, right, I'm not love guru, right? <laughs> So tomorrow probably we'll start with listening. We'll understand what listening encompasses of, you know, what kind of questions do we get, what difficulties you'll face in listening exam. And we'll practice a little bit of that as well. Right? Guys, today, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the session. I hope it was fun for you. You understood something new. And I'll leave that file called transition words that is, you know, connect to words. If you haven't liked the stream yet, I would suggest you do that. And in the chat, not in the chat, I would sorry, I would say sorry. In the description, I would suggest you to just write what is your desired score in the sense, what do you really need and which module is the most difficult according to you. I would suggest you to write that so that we can focus on that. You know, we can focus according to that. I would suggest you to do that. Um, yes, uh, Delini will be coming online every day. The score is 4.5, what should I do? That's a really good score. Good night to you, gamer. Um, good night, Prana. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Mohammed Salman. I'm really happy to be a motivation in your country. Uh, Rakesh, uh, about tips and how to prepare. Eventually, slowly, things will become clear, like I said, step by step. Starting with listening tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow we'll start with listening. 65 likes, first class. Yes. <laughs> 65 likes. Thank you, Hars. I will enjoy my dinner. Thank you for this comment. All right. Thank you, Ravi. All right, guys, take care, all of you. Uh, we'll meet tomorrow, definitely. And we'll discuss more about IELTS. Good night. Tomorrow time, same elite, 10.30 to 11.30, so that we can have a proper structure. Every day, 10.30 will be live. No time changing in there. Good night.